Imagine you could finally drop 25 pounds and see your six pack. No more love handles or chest fat. On top of that, what if I told you that you could eat a Big Mac, an Egg McMuffin, Bolognese pasta, drink soda and have your favorite snack every night like maybe a packet of Aribos or a PBJ sandwich? Hold on to that thought and I'll explain how I've implemented these dieting techniques to get to 10% body fat. 10 foods you should be eating to get to 10% body fat. The simple science dictates that your weight loss and weight gain is known as your energy balance. Energy balance is the relationship between the energy you feed your body and the energy it utilizes. As you probably know, this is often measured in kilocalories. You can also look at it like this. Every day, your body stores fat when you eat and burns fat when it runs out of food energy. Visually, it looks something like this. The green area represents lipogenesis, the metabolic formation of fat occurring in response to a meal. The blue area represents lipolysis, the breakdown of fats occurring in response to fasting between meals and during sleep. Over a 24 hour period, these will be balanced assuming you're not consuming more calories than you expend or the blue portions will be larger burning fat if you're in a caloric deficit. These 10 foods I'll be sharing will help you get into a caloric deficit and at the same time enjoy the foods you're eating and finally having your dream physique that you can maintain year round. Meal one, a Big Mac versus Dr. Mike's Mac. A Big Mac contains 550 calories, 25 grams of protein, 45 grams of carbs and 30 grams of fat. It would be near impossible eating a Big Mac at my current diet as it would take up 60% of my daily fats in just three bites. McDonald's is a no-go for me when it comes to dieting. Big Mac versus Dr. Mike's Mac. The Big Mac has exactly 550 calories versus the 355 calories in my burger. 44 grams of protein, which is double that of the Big Mac, 26 grams of carbs, which is almost half of that of the Big Mac, and 20 grams less of fat. You can make the healthier alternative versions at home of all your favorite foods. And this is exactly why I don't cheat meal, because I'm able to make all the foods that I do enjoy, and this is what's going to help keep your diet sustainable long-term. And I do the exact same thing with my clients, and this is why they see long-term success. Speaking of, I'm gonna pick two individuals so I can help and coach you for free. All you need to do is like the video, subscribe, watch the video to the end, and in the comment section down below, let me know your two favorite meals that you watched through this entire video, and let me know why I should pick you for coaching. I'm gonna pick two individuals, but good luck. Let's move on to meal number two. Oreos. I had an undying love for Oreo cookies. This would be the trick for my sweet tooth. My issue, and I'm sure you have the same, is that I couldn't only eat one or two. Realistically, I would eat an entire box throughout the day. For the purpose of this video, let's take six Oreos. Macros for the six Oreos are 320 calories, 50 grams of carbs, 14 grams of fat, and two grams of protein. Well, that doesn't seem too bad, right? How about rather eating a whole kilogram of watermelon at least 300 calories, 75 grams of carbs, 1.5 grams of fat, and 6.1 gram of protein. Now, we all have a sweet tooth, but let me explain my case. So this is Haribo's, everyone loves it. This is just gelatin and sugar. Now in here is 380 calories, 73 grams of carbs. Equivalent of that, you could have one kilogram of watermelon. Unlikely you'll finish it all. The same goes with strawberries. On this table is 400 grams. So I'd need this times two and then a little bit more to also give you one kilogram of strawberries to equate to the 125 grams you get from just having the candy. And then another case, I could have four apples instead of having just 125 grams of candy. So those are the options that you have. And for me, once I cut out these sugars, these hyper palatable foods, it was much easier for me to control my diet and enjoy it substituting in the watermelon, strawberries, and apples. And let me know in the comment section down below which fruits you enjoy. Meal number three, peanut butter. A staple in most diets. 
If it's not to make a PBJ sandwich, we add it to our protein oats or to our shakes, rice cakes, and the list goes on. The problem with peanut butter is that it's calorically dense. Standard peanut butter typically has about 190 calories, 16 grams of fat, and seven grams of protein per serving. A serving here is defined as two tablespoons. By comparison, powdered peanut butter is a lower calorie and fat option. It has an average of 60 calories, 1.5 grams of fat and six grams of protein per serving. It's great for consumers who are looking to cut calories or meet specific fitness goals. 190 calories versus 53 calories. Regular smooth peanut butter, powdered peanut butter. I might even argue this tastes even better for the same quantity. Look at the two spoons. So my advice is find yourself some PB2 if you're a peanut butter lover. You can easily fit this into your diet, add it to your oats, make a PBJ sandwich, but the possibilities are endless. I love this, I add it onto my oats, but that is enough. Man, I'm just gonna have it now and I'll see you guys in the next meal. Meal number four, pasta. We all love pasta, it's easy to make. It goes great with a little bit of tomato sauce and ground beef. That being said, I've just never consumed pasta on my diet and let me explain why. Among carb-rich foods, it has one of the lowest satiety indices, meaning that it's very likely you'll consume pasta and not feel full at all. This isn't ideal for a diet, let me explain. Two servings of pasta, 400 calories, 84 grams of carbs, two grams of fat, and 14 grams of protein. For those calories, it's just too little to make an impact on my diet. This is where I introduce zucchini noodles. For the exact same serving as the pasta, 77 calories, 14 grams of carbs, which is a sixth of that in pasta, one gram of fat, and finally six grams of protein. The taste is amazing. Easy to get your serving of vegetables and a great source of micronutrients. You could eat five times the amount of zucchini noodles to match that of pasta and still your favorite sauce and ground beef could go with it. Fanta, or any form of zero calorie drinks, Coke Zero is the popular one. What is the major difference? Now a lot of people stay away from actually drinking zero calorie drinks thinking that they don't believe that it's truly zero calorie. Yes, there are some calories, but it's truly negligible. I've been able to get in the shape of my life being able to drink zero calorie drinks, such as Monster, Coca-Cola Zero, and Fanta Zero. For example, these are both Fanta. In my opinion, they taste the same. Some people can't tell the difference. However, in this one, in 250 milliliters, there's nine grams of carbohydrates versus zero grams of carbohydrates. This is macro friendly. So I can drink a whole two liter within a day and be fine and still stick to my macros, no problem. Same goes for Coke. However, I will tell you, do mine for the caffeine. That's why I stay away from Coke. I get enough caffeine from my coffee and OxyTrade and so on. But zero calorie drinks are fine to have on a diet. Meal number six, cauliflower rice and white rice contain different amounts of carbohydrate calories, fiber, potassium, and calcium. Amongst its advantages, it's made from one of the healthiest cruciferous vegetables you can get. It's loaded with nutrients, including fiber, vitamin C, K, B6, and potassium. Cauliflower has 25 calories per cup versus the 218 for a cup of cooked white rice. And if you're watching carbs, cauliflower has five grams per cup versus the 46 a cup of white rice. Comparing the two, Cauliflower rice has a tenth of the calories and carbs compared to white rice. If you're looking to add volume to your foods, you can't go wrong with this substitute. Meal seven, whole eggs versus egg whites. We love whole eggs. Having them scrambled with toast, boiled, making a delicious omelet, or even having it with fried rice. Whole eggs can contain a considerable amount of calories and micronutrients that come with the egg yolks. All of that fat soluble vitamins, A, D, E, and K in eggs are found in the yolk. In addition, the yolk contains the healthy fats and cholesterol necessary for the production of hormones such as testosterone. When dieting, the yolk can add a considerable amount of fats to the diet and can make it difficult to incorporate. Introducing egg whites. 
As you get deeper and deeper into caloric deficit, you need to cut calories and you want to utilize your fats as best as possible. So in egg whites, in eight egg whites, you'll find exactly 137 calories. In four whole eggs, you'll find 312 calories. Now both of them have 28 grams of protein. Both of them have two grams of carbs. However, the four whole eggs will contain 21 grams of fat and in the egg whites, there'll be no fat at all. So you'd love to save those. So what I like to do is a combination. Maybe I'll have one whole egg and then I'll add the egg whites for the extra bit of protein. But if you're trying to save and reduce on those fats, maybe getting some carbon and egg whites will be a fantastic option in terms of your diet. Having one whole egg combined with this, you can't even tell the difference when making scrambled eggs or even some of your favorite meals. But give this is a go. This will help you getting to 10% body fat and getting your protein in easily. Now, what about a snack or dessert? Jello. One, and this one right here, has 18 grams of carbs. This one has virtually none. 0.35 grams of carbohydrates. Now, if you're looking for a snack to add, something that you can eat, zero calorie that will make you feel full, having this as a snack on a daily basis will help keep your calories low and will also satisfy that sweet tooth. So you can't go wrong with zero calorie Jello. Now, I've never met anyone who doesn't like ice cream. Now imagine if you could include it into your diet. The problem with the classic Magnum is that it has 20 grams of carbs and 15 grams of fat. It makes sense, right? However, what if you could have ice cream that doesn't have as much fats? There's 15 grams of fat in this one. This one's for you, KK. You can get an ice lolly alternative, which only has 15 grams of carbs, zero fats, and barely any protein. And this can fit in your diet as your snack after having a meal, and this is exactly what I've been having. I've shown you in previous videos that you can have protein ice cream too. If you have it, it's better than your general Moven Pick and Ben and & Jerry's. But this is a great ice lolly made out of real fruits. Another perfect example that you can make your favorite breakfast at home. McDonald's McMuffin versus mine. I mean, size is everything. But this is higher protein, especially with using the egg whites. The ham is also good. And why I can balance in terms of the fats and all that, I didn't put in any cheese or any sausages. So you can really build your favorite breakfast with things that will fit your macros. And this is a simple case of that. So I've been having this almost every day on prep, which has been amazing. And if you wanna see my full day of eating, the link to my second channel is in the description. I'm posting my prep vlogs as I'm going to prepare for competition in September, October, and I show you how to make all these meals. Let's see you in the next one. Again, to get to 10% body fat, it's being in a caloric deficit for an extended period of time. You can do this via caloric expenditure, through your training and walking, and you can also do this via your diet. These top 10 meals and foods that I've showed is one, to show you that there's sustainable ways of being able to go about a diet. And two, things that I've been using on my prep to also reduce my total caloric intake, be it the cauliflower rice or the zucchini noodles. Just have a search and see what works for you and what you do enjoy. And hopefully this gave you a few ideas. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Again, I'm gonna pick two people for free coaching. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe, Pick two meals that you enjoyed the most from this video and also let me know why you think you deserve the coaching. I'll have two people and I'll help transform your entire physique. I'm excited to be working with you, but I'll see you in the next one. Like, subscribe, it's your boy, and I'm out. Peace.